Hey, what's up, guys? So, welcome to the Revit Structure course. My name is Jan Sasui and I'm the one going to take you through this course. So, it's a Revit Structure course. So, let's move right into the screen. So, this is the, the desktop of my computer. So, I'm going to open the Revit 2024. So, when you join this course, I'm going to give you the setup of this software, how to install it, and the basics knowledge that you need to know for your installation. So basically, this is the first startup page when you open Revit. We have the model area and we have the family area. So this is how it is. This is the first page of Revit 2024. You can also change this from what um, a white background to a dark background. So we are using the dark background for now. So when you come to the open area, this is what you are going to learn how to model, how to place in columns. So let me move into um, the basics of things that we are going to learn. So when I come here, these are what we have already worked on. So we have the column placement, which is the column based one. Then we have the strip footing. Aside that, on this course also, we are going to learn about the user interface. This is the user interface the structure tools. So we'll talk about the beam, the walls, the column, the floors, the stra the, the stresses, and we have the basin as well. We also have the beam system here in here. And we have the isolated footing, which is known as the column basis. We also have the walls and the slab. And aside that, we are going to deal about what the rail bar reinforcement. And we have something we call project properties or Revit project properties. So under the properties here, this is where everything goes on. Any element in Revit contain its properties. Aside that we have the project browser under AutoCAD or any other software, you have to draw everything on the working area. But with Revit, we have what you call project browser and the project browser contains all the levels, all the floors that you want. And even it contains the sheets as well. So let me guide you through what we are going to learn. I've already said about the column basis. So let's move on, on to the reinforcement aspect. So these are real ray bars in the column basics. And also we have some ray bars in the columns. And we have some ray bars also in the slab as well. So we are going to learn a whole lot of things how to place in these stirrups along the columns in in, in Revit. Also, we learn about the 3D aspect, anything that you place in Revit, or if it's a model in place element, you get it in 3D as well. Also, we learn about what raft foundation and a raft foundation. So I'm going to use my shifts with my scroll button. You could see these are columns that have placed under and we have straight footings under this. And these are called Raft Foundation, which we place our columns on it. So we are going to learn all these things in this course. So basically, as I said, my name is Jan Sasuimano. I'm going to guide you through this course. So we also have um, the strass in which there is a roof and the strass is being it. We are going to also learn about how to do this thing in this course. And also we have what? Steel breathing. If you get a project which does about steel structures you will learn the basics on how to place in a steel structure here as well and also how to brace them as well so basically these are the basics of drawing that you need to know and how to use the software for all your structure elements and aside that we are going to learn about the staircase how any type of staircase that you want to draw which is a dog legged, the straight fly, the spiral circuits, everything that you need to know about this, you are going to learn here in this course. And we are also going to learn about how to draw ramps, all types of ramps here as well. Basically, these are the stuff or this are what we are going to learn, how to place your drawings on sheets and basically. So let me open this file to you. This is a project we've worked, a lot, a lot of projects that we work for clients. These are basic projects that we've done for a client and this is a cover page sheet so basically when you are done with the course you'll be able to provide some certain drawings like this the cover page and also your drawings on sheet like this with the client name 
the client location and the sheet and everything. These are the call out of a foundation from the drawings as well. And aside that we have uh, the general arrangement ground floor here on the sheet as you can see. We have the beam schedule, the column schedules here as well. So this course is going to be intense to so join the course so that you can learn. And we have rebar reinforcement, how to place rebar reinforcement and also tag them for your clients for the steel benders to be able to use this as well. And we have this also continues as the rebus and we have the beam details. So if you are a car technician or a structural engineer from KNUS or everywhere, this course is going to guide you for able to understand river structures using the tools and also the basics in everything that you need to know. Aside that, we have how to draw what a stake is and this guide you to know how to what place in what reinforcement stake is, a reinforcement bar in a stake is and also typical section of what a stake is here as well. So this course is going to guide you on everything that you need to know about river structures and also the principles of uh, design, the principles of reinforcement and everything. So join this course right now and let's move on. Bye for now.